Welcome to this tutorial on how to use bank feeds in QuickBooks Online. So this is one area that I see a lot of people mess up in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so you get into QuickBooks Online, one of the great things about it is, you know, the, the functionality that you can connect to so many different um, online resources, apps, etc. I mean, that is a great, fantastic aspect of QuickBooks Online. Now, the biggest and the easiest thing that most people uh, connect to are their banks. And the bank feed transactions, those are automated, automatically brought into QuickBooks Online and uh, so that you don't have to go and manually enter information, okay? But I see a lot of errors uh, when people do this, okay? So I'm gonna show you a couple of these errors and I'm gonna show you how to correctly use bank feeds, okay? So first thing we're gonna do, you're gonna go over to the banking um, option over here in the menu and you're gonna click on banking. So you can see this sample company file. There's already a couple of these uh, bank accounts set up. There's also a credit card. Very, very important. You want to make sure you link your credit cards and your bank accounts. And you can see over here, there's a link account and you would manage connections. All right. So I can't do that in this sample company file. But if you're setting this up for the first time, you want to go over there, manage the connections and connect to your bank. Now, if you have some errors connecting to your bank, make sure that you contact the bank uh, because a lot of times you can resolve those errors. And by doing so and setting up these bank feeds, you're gonna save a ton of time entering information in QuickBooks. All right, so here's where the errors typically come in. You can see here we've got the checking account, we've got the savings account, there's only one there, and then we've got the MasterCard. There's a bunch of transactions here, all right? Let's go back over to the checking account and you will see uh, that it shows here the bank balance negative 3621, that's not good. In QuickBooks 1201, and it says there are 25 transactions to review, okay? So that's very important you wanna make sure you realize is that when you have the bank feed set up, these transactions don't automatically go into your books, okay? You have to go to this banking section and you have to uh, accept these transactions in one way or another. We're gonna walk through how to do that, all right? So you get this set up, you connect to your bank, and when you need to update it, you simply click update. Now it's gonna automatically update, but you can also manually do it by pressing this button, all right? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down and you're gonna look at all these transactions in your checking account to make sure that uh, one, they match what is supposed to be coming in or what's being charged or deposited to your bank, uh, but also how you're gonna categorize these things. Because you can see here in this category or match, this is essentially the account that uh, these are going to. Uh, you'll see some of these are uncategorized income, all right? Uncategorized income, uncategorized expense, etc. You don't want to put those to those categories uh, because uh, this, uh, you want to make sure you put them in the correct accounts, correct categories. All right, now you're going to see some things down here that says two matches found, one match found, one match found, etc. This is where people run into problems, okay? First of all, they'll have the bank feed set up just like this, and they'll have all these transactions downloaded, but at the same time, they have gone in, and let's say that it was this Books by Bessie, uncategorized income $55. And let's say that this was an invoice that you had issued from your business to Books by Bessie for $55. When that money came in, most people will go and they will record a payment against that invoice and then show it as a deposit to their checking account in QuickBooks. But it's gonna come in through the bank feed as well. All right, so if you go here and you say we're going to put this as let's say sale of product income and then you click add you have now double counted the income for that all right once when you accepted the bank feed transaction and once when you accepted the payment against that invoice that's where the issues come in and this happens on the expense side and the income side and i see clients and others double count expenses and double count revenue all the time. So you gotta be very careful about that. Now, QuickBooks is very good, let me X out of this, QuickBooks is very good at showing you if there's a match. So it looks through your records and says, okay, 
you've already recorded this transaction or it looks like you've recorded this transaction. And so we see a match, all right? But it doesn't always get it right. That's what you have to be careful about. All right, so when we go down here, we see, okay, there was a matching deposit found on August 11th for 868.15. Now, if it is a match, you can simply click match and it will not double count the transaction in your records, okay? But if you instead say categorize and you put it as revenue or service income or whatever it is, now it's going to double count it because you have entered it in your records once and then you have accepted it in the bank fee transactions. So very important, if you have already entered transactions, whether it's an expense, a credit card charge, a, a deposit, doesn't matter what it is, you want to make sure that you uh, choose this find match. That way you can record it correctly. Now once you have found the match, you're just going to say match and it's going to take it out of there and it's gonna match it to that transaction and it won't double count it. Now, let's go back to another one that is not matched. Books by Bessie, sale of product income. If we had not already recorded that, we would just say categorize as sale of product income and add, simple as that, okay? But if we think there is a match in the books, we can say find match and we can look for which one it is. All right, and you're just gonna check it off to make sure that it matches a certain transaction. We're gonna take this out of here and X out, but that's the basics of how you're gonna go in and you're going to either find the match for that transaction or add the transaction. All right, so now once you add all these and you, know, you can view this because there's two matches, you can say this was an expense or this was a bill payment whichever one it matches, uh, make sure you correctly classify that and then you just match it. And if it's not a match, again, you're just gonna categorize and put it to the correct account. All right, so those are the basics and that's what you need to watch out for when you are using bank feeds in QuickBooks Online. Uh, it's not hard, it's not complicated, but again, you do have to watch out for making sure you don't double count transactions. And the way you're gonna do that is you're going to find the match instead of adding that as a new transaction. Any comments, any questions, feel free to leave those below. Also, please like the video. Also click the little bell because you'll be notified every time that I release a new video. And uh, also subscribe, love to have you as a subscriber. Uh, there's lots of great training here, lots of great videos. Check them out, we'll talk to you soon.